Hey guys, it's Gerald from Firewalls.com. I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to configure your Ruckus access point to act as a DHCP server to the wireless LAN. Now, with the Unleashed series access points, they come with a built in DHCP server. And you can enable this DHCP server and start assigning IP addresses to any device that is connected. Now, before you do this, if you are currently running a DHCP server, um, like on a firewall, you'll want to make sure to disable that first. I've already disabled the DHCP server that I have running on my Sophos XG firewall. So I'll come down here to my IP settings. As you can see, it was set to DHCP um, to obtain an IP address from the, the Sophos XG firewall. So what I want to do is first switch this to manual and we want to set this to a static IP. Let's make this a 10.0.2.2. We'll make the gateway to 1. And we'll change DNS settings. So once you have all this configured, you'll come down here to DHCP server. You'll click this box. You enter in the range of the IPs that you want your devices to obtain. So for this I'll start at 10.0.2.3 and I'm going to keep it a small network, small subnet and make this 10.0.2 let's go 20. Here you have the option to set your lease times. I think I'll keep mine on 12 hours and we'll set, select apply Once this is finished applying the changes, you should see all your configuration settings here. Now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to connect my phone to the network. So if I go over here to clients, we see that there's nothing there. So I'm going to try to connect my phone to the test network and if everything worked out properly, I should pull an IP address from this range so 10.0.2.3 to 10.0.2.20 so I'm going to go ahead and connect my phone so my phone says it's connected I'm going to move up here to the clients give it a refresh and as you can see I've obtained a 10.0.2.15 address. So, that's all I have for you guys for this video. Remember, if you ever wanna, want your access point to act as a DHCP server, make sure that the access point itself is set in a static IP address first. Then you'll come down here, check your DHCP server, enter in your range, click apply, connect something to the network and then check to see if you have the uh, an IP address within that range alright guys that concludes today's video I hope you found this video helpful if so give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos to come thank you guys for your time today have a good one